Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Face Day Night Heaven's Feel Movie 3 and this is called Spring Song. Yeah, Spring Song. And this is the final and the third movie of the trilogy. And uh, if you guys are like seeing this video for the first time, I have reacted to the other two movies as well. It's in the playlist over here somewhere. So if you guys are interested in it, you can go take it, check it out definitely. So, okay, the previous movie, uh, that is movie number two. Oh my god. <laughs> like, uh, you can, like, uh, like as in the title, it's, like, written that I played the visual novel. It was not, you know, like, it was not, um, what can I say? Like, I have still felt as uncomfortable as when I played the visual novel, uh, the whole Shinji, like, you know, scene, uh, the last part of the movie two, what happened. I still feel uncomfortable and you know I'm glad I'm glad Shinji is not here anymore and you know like his nonsense is over and yeah I'm glad like that's basically it like I kind of talked about this about this whole situation Shinji situation in the previous uh, movie so I won't do it here but in a nutshell like I really can never like forgive him he's like one of the worst characters that I've ever seen in any anime and I just hate him I usually do not hate any anime characters but Shinji is an exception you know there are other exceptions as well but Shinji is like a special like he Shinji has a special place in my heart <laughs> so yeah anyways enough about Shinji uh, the previous movie it like showed us uh, what happened after Shiro loses Saber and we get to meet with Saber Alter and the whole uh, situation with Excuse me, um, Berserker and uh, you know, like Ilya also kind of joining them and everything. So, all of those things happened. Shiro and also Shiro got a major wound, his hand got cut off, and it was replaced by Archer's arm. So, yeah, and as far as I can remember, I remember the important points of the novel. So, I can say this a hundred, like you know, 100% sure that this movie will be amazing. It has a lot of iconic moments i can kind of remember a few bits and portions of it and i have to say like this will be something really unique that that we have never seen in the previous two routes in fate route or the unlimited blade works route like so many things are going to happen i love this and like I, i'm sure i love this movie and like that uh like you know coupled with uh ufo tables like amazing animation so yeah let's get started without uh, wasting any more time so without further ado Let's get started with Heaven's Feel movie number three, Spring Song. All right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sing it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. All right, let's get ready for this amazing movie. Ah. Uh, Hmm. Excuse me. Okay, yeah. Well, the sucker is gone. Ah. <sighs> Oh great, Zoken is here. <clears throat> this old man. God damn it, Zoken. He won't do it. Shiro won't do it. What? Does he even know where she is? Damn, look at the smile. Ugh.
<laughs> well, technically, Ilya is a big sister, isn't she? She's older than Shiro. What is that? Oh, wait. You see these archers sold that one. Oh god. Oh rider, rider! Uh, here she is. Yeah, she, I, I think she, like didn't did Sakura relinquish her master like status to Shiro, I think, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god. There she is. God. Oh god. <laughs> She's here. Oh, is that Rin? Yeah, she's using Gander, isn't it? Isn't she? Yep. Yep, it's obvious because, you know. <laughs> Why isn't it obvious? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you're not weak, you're overpowered. That's it. <laughs> and stronger than. Hmm. Oh, damn, the music. Oh. Oh damn, she contained it within a cage. And there goes, oh my god. Ah. <laughs> okay, Sakura, calm down. She's a hero. Um, sh where is Shiro? There she is. Okay, Medusa's here. <laughs> I'm sure she'll retreat now. I don't know. Oh god. Oh no, she's pissed. Oh! Well, she's a full blown Yandre now. Oh my god, the hand! Oh god.
That's some messed up. Oh, uh, what? Wait, what happened? Oh, Ryder. Yeah, it was what she said, you know. Well, Medusa knows this because, you know, I'm going to talk about this whole thing with, you know, Ryder and Sakura. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. Wait. Oh! Salter is here. Uh, Saber Altar. Wait. <laughs> wow, they, they teamed up. I kind of forgot about this place. I cannot properly remember what happened here. Okay. Oh. Great news. Oh, Ilya. Oh damn, she... Oh, yeah, this is still like... Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Oh god. <sighs> Complete loss. <sighs> ah, Kire. Yeah, it's distorted. Hmm. Container happened to be fit for the whole guy.
<laughs> they really did an amazing can be seen from the ah yes yes we welcome you he'll be a big like you know asset like only as far as i can remember only in this route he becomes a big asset Damn. There it is. Yep. Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> it's fine. Hmm. What? Oh. What a weird way to like, you know, kind of say that I. Akura. Switch to the enemy camp. Oh God. Come with me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But that. Okay. Then what? Oh, damn, this is... <laughs> oh, yeah, where is she? Oh! Okay, okay, true, true, you know? But she was once con contracted with Sakura, so... But once they get in and if like their cover blows, you know, she can then come and help. Oh, damn. Sharp nails. <laughs> oh, yes. But, there's a big difference between them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was the main, like, thing with Phase Zero. Process to get. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what a happy man he was. So I decided to, you know, mess his life up.
Yeah. Kire is a complicated evil character, like I have to say. She was the only one. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's true, you know. No, that's definitely not it. But, that, but you know, that's like a... He knew what's going to happen, but because it's, it was still not born, he decided to leave it alone. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that was what he decided in this route. No, that's not what... No, that's not what Shiro wants. She, he decided to... Lose the hero of justice path and go towards this path. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. That's what he's saying. Not for the greater good, but the thing that he wants. Shiro wants to do that. There you go. Wow. What happened to the two servants? Like, what was their name? Sela? Something like that, I forgot. And leftmost room, okay. Yeah, yeah, like exactly. Mountain climbing. <laughs> oh, there they are. They're okay. Oh Jesus! <laughs> did did Cray fling him up? I think that's what he did. <laughs> Do you have any experience mountain climbing, or I can just throw you? <laughs> oh God!
I don't care. <laughs> Wow, that's a <laughs> Luke was talking, yeah, that's true. But you know But who cares? You know? If you're going to die, then just like, yes, let's go. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I still remember this scene in the visual novel. <laughs> Yes, but he's reinforced his legs, I think. I don't know. Or not. Yes, he can use it. Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> the Yandere has awakened. <laughs> oh my god. And oh god, yep, I was waiting for this. I was waiting for this. Now, this will be an amazing fight. The whole thing, okay? There you go. I remember this portion, bits and pieces of it. Yeah. <laughs> But you have a rabbit berserker behind you. Oh, damn. Oh, ass assassins here as well. Great. Oh. Oh, yes. There you go. <laughs> Ah, uh, oof. They're the black keys. Get <laughs> a specialty. Damn. So does everyone. But... Oh god, and there, there he is. Uh... Damn. Oh god. Ah. Uh...
Yeah, so can is here. I was thinking, who's going to be here? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Yeah. Damn. Oh. Oh no, this is a bunny, huh? Okay. Yeah. Oh! Zoken, you messed up. All right. <laughs> oh! Bravo, bravo, Gray. <laughs> Zoken. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, he knows that. He he knows that. He purified him completely. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Yeah. Well, your master is gone. Hmm. <laughs> well, there goes one problem. Damn, I, I did indeed feel sad, but of
Ah! Oh my god, what? <laughs> Kirei, man, you, you need some help. Like... Seriously. <laughs> Oh. Mm -hmm. And open those wraps. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And Oh god he is yeah he's getting the surge of memories Oh! The music! Damn! Wow, they really did an amazing job here. I was waiting for this scene. Oh! <laughs> oh god and he surpassed him oh Oh god. Damn. These are 12 level labors? Yeah, yeah, these those are the 12 labors. Or maybe not. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Those were Okay. Damn! Oh! Oh! Tell this!
Oh, damn. For a moment there I forgot, he is a faker. That's why like he can make any of those like you know, weapons. For a moment I forgot that what his original power was. Okay. Damn, it's the first time we I think we heard Berserker speak. Damn. Okay, Saber is here. Oh. Oh god, he's bleeding. Yeah. Father. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Kid is going to get into your mind and mess you up. Yeah. Ever so easily. Oh god. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Okay, Saber Altar is here. Hmm. Yes. Well. <clears throat> Oh, wait, oh God, is this?
He's dreaming, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, the side effects. Yeah. Oh, who's here? Green? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? His hand? Oh! Yeah. Rin's necklace. He's getting the memories and all. Okay. Yeah, there's another part of it. Yeah. Hmm. Greater Gale, yeah. <clears throat> Three hundred years ago. Rail of heaven. Magic of materializing the soul. Yeah, what? I kind of forgot about this portion. It's okay. Oh, the Avenger. Okay, okay, okay. I can... Eighth class. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I remember it now. Yeah, his, his bastard is pretty messed up, Angry, angry Mayur. Yeah, and they made, took a scapegoat. Yeah, just made a scapegoat. Oh. <laughs> the hero was born. Ah. But worshipped, yeah.
Angra Mayu, Angry Mayu, or Angry Mango, we like to call him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the grail became corrupted. <clears throat> yeah mm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Jewel sword. I kind of forgot about this. Most sacred of treasures. Okay. Okay. My memory is not as fresh. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, so this sword is she's talking about this one. This is the other sword, okay. Yeah. Okay. What is this place? Oh, this is Zoken, isn't it? Or am I mistaken? Oh no, no, that's Zoken. Oh damn, this is um I think this is, wait, this is Waver. No, this is not Waver. This is someone else. I completely forgot this potion. Was this in the novel?
Who is that lady? She looks like an Eisenburn. Two members of Osaka Eisen. Oh, that was one of the Tosaka members, uh, the long haired guy. Spiritual ground to construct the helicopter. Okay. And Eisenburn will give the vessel. Oh, they will offer the magic circle. Okay. That's the dress. The what was the name of the dress? I forgot. The dress of heaven or something that like she's wearing. Damn. Oh God. Damn. The magic circle. Oh, that's the... Okay. Oh, who is there outside my room? Oh, it's a Medusa, okay. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, this one. I'll talk about this later on. Yeah, her past is heavily interconnected with Sakura. Like, in a way, it's similar. Yeah, to save her. Okay. 
is it salter again or is it sakura sakura <laughs> Oh god. I do not. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like it's kind of like her personality is weird mixture of Okay, thank you for, you know, <laughs> returning the electricity. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hmm. Sakura is not in the best of moods, you know. She's not happy. Oh God. I was waiting for this. <laughs> you picked the wrong person. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> he was so obstinate. Like, even after Kire, like, you know, purified him, he still. You're a nobody. <laughs> and you're alone now. Okay, well. <laughs> oh. Uh, no. No need to wait. Yeah, goodbye for real now. Okay, and there it goes. 
<laughs> yeah. Free. She's free. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Now, Dan. Okay, she's here. Oh. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, she's waiting. She's waiting for the visitors. Welcome them. Oh, she has to. What the? Oh, like Sakura told her to go in. Hmm. 
<laughs> Rin has a VIP pass. <laughs> She's a premium member, so you know. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Rin has a special Onesan privilege, you know? So, yeah. But you two, you two will have to fight Saber. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> two minutes. Okay, that's enough, I think. Oh, she's opening her eyes. Yeah, she'll have to go full out. Otherwise, this is like Saber Altar. Oh, God. Okay. Well, there are those mystic eyes. Oh, but. Okay. Oh, you have little. What do you call them? They're going to escort you in down. <laughs> What? <laughs> what the hell? Damn. Oh, look at the place. Yep. Oh, God. And there she is. Yeah, she did not mention her his name. <laughs> um Oh, what the, what, <laughs> look at that. Oh, great. They're getting bigger. Oh god. And now we have the fight. All right, let's see.
Okay. Whoa. Oh. Damn. And dive. But yeah, he got, she got petrified. Yep. Oh. Damn. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just getting ready. But again, the pain will, like, you know. Okay. No, but his hand is not. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Then, like, yeah. Okay. Hmm. We're able to stand still even when the ally is in danger. Oh. Oh God. Damn. Yeah, this won't work. You know? This will only be like a little bit of a problem for her. Oh, damn. She is keeping an eye on Shiro. Oh, damn. Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh. Oh, she's using a noble phantasm. Better F on. And she's also using her. Oh! Oh, sh is he projecting Excalibur? Oh no, what is he doing? Oh! 
Oh, he's bringing up raw eyes. Oh, okay, raw eyes. Okay. Okay, her noble phantasm has been used, and he. Oh my God! But will it be able to stop it? Oh, another one. Okay. Oh my God! Okay, she's she's ready. She's ready. Oh. As soon as Excalibur ends, she'll she'll strike. Or not, maybe not. At the same time, okay. Wow. Amazing, amazing animation. Okay. Well, yeah, still it was not enough. Or okay, it's the final blow. Yeah, in the end, she kind of got her, you know, senses back. Yeah. Damn. She okay? Okay, she's just tired. <laughs> okay, what's happening here? Oh. Oh, damn, what is that? Oh, really? Oh, she has the dagger. Okay. Oh! <laughs> okay, well... Hmm. Then it's okay. Boston. Oh, damn. She didn't know it. Okay. But it's, I'm guessing there. Oh. oh, okay, she's controlling the power, like, just enough. Okay, she's mad.
Oh god, what are those? Small little teddy bears. What are those things? No, those are rat. Oh my god, those are bunny. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's thinking. She's thinking that Tosakas have yeah everything, and I don't have anything. And we were also like the same, you know. Okay, she's provoking him, clearly. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Damn. Oh. Oh yeah, she remembers uh, when Sakura was with her, I think. Oh, oh. Okay. Yes, yeah, she wasn't able to kill her.
On the ribbon, yeah. <sighs> oh god Zero zero. Okay, thank God. Well, do you have anything to like heal, Rin? Okay. Yeah. Okay, she's no, but. Yeah, no, technically not, but no. I got kind of got her like senses back. Okay, I think they have some other plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. But something's happening, yes, behind you. Oh, God, damn. Okay. Yeah, that was. That was angry mango, I think. Yeah. Okay. Where did she get like wounded? Like she's bleeding, but I'm guessing like she did not get wounded in any of her vital spots. Okay, well, time to dodge these. Okay. Damn the way. Okay. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, he, he got there safely.
Oh, oh, what was that? Oh no. No, rain is okay. Yeah, that's what, sh like, you know, Shiro made a choice. Yeah, exactly. Like, if you die, that's over. So, like, keep living and, like, you know, um, what do you call it? Redeem yourself. Oh. Yeah. Hypocritical. All right. Okay, what is he tracing? Oh, the dagger. Oh no, this is uh, Media's dagger. Okay, he like he's canceling the contract with of Sakura and. All right, there we go. Come on. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was media's, uh, what was the media's weapon? That was a good choice, I have to say. Like, Shiro could have, like, you know, projected any weapon, but he chose that. Now, what will you do about this thing? Yeah. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. What? Wait, what, what happened? Why was he not? Oh no, is he like, the side effects are like... Uh, the main problem is still lingering, so... Uh. 
Oh, is that? Oh, Kire. <laughs> mm, okay, yes. Yeah, I like, he's the final <laughs> boss. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's why he like left Sakura. No, kept Sakura alive. That's what he wants. It's not evil yet. It's not even good. Okay. Oh, damn, look at him. Yes, it starts from zero, freight zero. <sighs> Kirei doesn't, you know? Environment, yeah, exactly. No. Oh. It's exactly the opposite for me. Yes. <laughs> You're evil, Kire. But you know, I've seen worse type of evil. And oh, okay, come on. Damn, this one. This is a <laughs> Yeah, he has those things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, like. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Damn. Oh. Okay, it's a bit different for Shiro, you know, like Damn Oh Damn. Kire is... Wow. Hmm. Oh, wow. Kire, man. Like... This guy. <laughs> Kira wants to be the audience, you know? Oh, okay. Whoa. Ah. <laughs> Damn! Oh! Wow!
you both think of ourselves as sinners. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing that Kire. And Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, he's still alive? God damn it, this thing. Ah, uh, someone squash him, please. What the? Who's that? Oh, the... It's Eisenberg homunculus. We seek something that surpasses him. Hmm. Yeah, but still one step short, you know. Oh. Oh. Okay. Damn, he cannot make any other like projection, like he'll die. Yeah, oh god. Oh my god. I knew this was coming. Oh. God damn it.
I don't remember. She's a big sister, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so I just feel it's waiting there. Oh, the necklace. Yeah, I think th this is the. Yeah, it will help save Shiro again. <laughs> well, the necklace saved Shiro again, you know? Like. Hmm. Okay, everything's happy now. Peace. Ah, everything's peaceful. Ah, I need some more, like, you know, peaceful things related to fate. I should. Okay. But if I if I was like watching this for the first time, I would have been devastated at this. But you know, I know what's going to happen. So kind of, I I cannot remember details of it, but.
Mm. <laughs> Those small little things. Damn. Being crushed by a sense of guilt is running away. Wow. Oh, is that? Yeah, yeah, that's, um, what, what's her name? Uh, Aoko, Aoko. Or, yeah, 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 she, oh my god, this is like an amazing kind of, uh, I forgot her name, is it Aoko or Toko, I forgot her name, from Kano Kyokai. Yeah, there he is. They said that he has been destroyed, but you know, that's true, but also not true in a, in a certain sense. I was extremely like concerned when I read the novel at this moment, especially. <laughs> but when Shio came in later on, I was like, okay. Okay. Well, they became a happy family, everyone. <laughs> Except Saber, oh god. In a way, Saber's fate is also really, like, you know, kind of sad because in the, in th like, all of the roots, I think, even in the Unlimited Blade works, as far as I can remember, Paper was never, never able to get that. Like in the eight, end of Fate Root, uh, she was able to meet Shiro in Avalon later on. But still, like, damn, wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> Sakura, <laughs> having a Sakura party. Oh, these, uh, these guys, uh, I forgot their name. Uh, Rin's friends. Amazing! What an amazing end to this route. Like, I, obviously I know like what happened uh, from the novel, but still like watching it for like the second time, obviously. Uh, like the first time was the novel and this is like the second time I'm watching the movie. And... Wow. No, not second time watching, the first time watching the movie, but second time playing like, you know, watching this route. Because... Like, it, like, you know, the, the novel was all good and everything, but the animations and all, you know, that was so, like, I was waiting for this for so long, and, like, like you know, Yofu Table gave what Fate deserved, and Fate deserves each and everything, like, you know, like, such an amazing, 
show and like such an amazing franchise. Oh, like, <laughs> like if if people like you know if you guys did not understand what happened in the end, like you know where like I'm sure a lot of people are like watching this for the first time. I uh, have not played the novel. Uh, the whole thing with the. Uh, you know when like sakura said that shiro is no more and like and then like i'm sure a lot of people will be confused as to how shiro did shiro come back uh you guys remember that they went to um like a, a place where uh, like sakura and rin and there's like a doll and i was saying that oh like this is aoko isn't it aoko is another character aoko or toko i cannot remember the name i think her name was toko or aoko I should check that out. Uh, she's one of the characters from Kano Kyokai and also from Mouse Kai no Yoru. Uh, so she is this like you know master doll maker and the doll that they saw like they were true in a kind of a sense when they say that Shiro has been destroyed. Shiro had been destroyed but like you know his body as far as I can remember from the novel his body was like you know um, what can I say like his body was reconstructed by Aoko or Toko, I cannot remember her name, uh, like, you know, by her and by the master doll maker. And he's kind of like, uh, like has prosthetics and all, I, as far as I can remember, like he's, com he's completely not human, but at the same time, he's human. So something like that, as far as I can remember from the novel, like that's what happened in the end. I'm sure a few people who are watching this for the first time will get confused in the end. Like, you know, they were showing that Shiro died, but then suddenly like Shiro came back. How did that happen? That's what actually happened in the end. And you know, another thing that I was saying, like I always feel sad, like, you know, Saber is still not, like Saber is not here. And like, we can see Medusa and all, like they are like all together, Rin. But Shiro is not here. As far as I can remember, Shiro was not, like, uh, uh, not Shiro, oh, what the hell am I saying? Uh, Saber, not Shiro. Um, Saber is not here, and as far as I can remember, in Unlimited Blade Works, also Saber went away. You know, like she was alive by the end of it, but she went away. Uh, I think. Okay, that's the end. I can't remember. And in the end of Fate Root, that is Saber's route, she also like disappeared. And like you know, Saber kind of said that I'll wait for you forever, uh, Ushiro. Uh, like we'll meet. Like you know, we'll meet again. And when Shiro dies later on. He like goes to Avalon and meets Saber. So like the thing that I'm sad about is like you know like the never like like Shiro never gets to be in the ending. Like you know like the uh, scene we saw like a happy family and all. Like she never gets that. Neither do, does Ilya. Like that's another thing. Like Ilya's fate is also kind of real. Like you know ends very badly in all of the roots. But in this route, at least, like, she was, like, a good ally to Shiro, you know? And she was able to kind of, um, you know, make up with Shiro. And, yeah, her death was not, like, Unlimited Blade Works, where, like, Gilgamesh killed him just like that. Uh, killed her just like that. So, like, you know, like, at least the death here, like, Ilya's death, was something that she chose and by the end of it like we saw her like running in, inside the grail and like you know uh, going to uh, iris field uh, her mom and you know reuniting with her okay so like amazing movie amazing way to end this trilogy and yeah that was great and uh, the things that i really loved in this like last movie i was kind of saying it from and the previous movie is the whole thing with Kirei, you know, uh, like, you know, Kirei, like, <laughs> Kirei is a weird type of a character, I have to say, like, the things that he does are bad, extremely bad, and, but at the same time, like, you know, you cannot kind of hate him, like, sometimes you kind of get pissed off at him, but, you know, by the end of it, he's just, like, a character who is confused, you know, he's, like, a character who is confused with himself he himself does not know what is like what will bring joy to him so he like he keeps trying to find that thing like that's basically Kirei you know like Kirei does not as he said that I do not like I am I'm not normal like happy things do not make me happy 
you know sad like miserable things sad things they make me happy and the whole thing with his wife like you know when he was standing and his wife said uh nah kirya said that sorry i was un- unable to love you and his wife s- s- says that like uh like don't worry about it you're crying that's enough and kills herself and kirya says that oh no you're wrong like i'm not crying because you're dying i'm crying because like like you're dying so at least like i could have killed you like that's messed up <laughs> you know like that's basically kirya kirya does not know what makes him happy so he's like a wandering soul like you know one of one of those wandering specters who keeps like wandering the mortal realm uh, unless and until uh, it finds the one thing that like can fulfill that specter the kirya is that specter but unfortunately nothing makes him happy and he keeps wandering keeps wandering to try to find that one thing that will uh, like fulfill him and yeah like that's basically kirya and like like the his bits in this movie are amazing i have to say like the whole thing with saving ilia and then you know fighting with zoken and then in the end that fist fight with shiro oh my god that was amazing i was waiting for like you know that like uh, two things i was waiting for in this movie was this whole thing with kire and the other thing is like the fight with berserker like shiro versus berserker when he like yanks off that like you know <laughs> that thing that was covering that seal and he gains this power that makes him able to stand like you know stand in front of a uh, like toe to toe in front of a servant especially a berserker and fight and yeah so yeah these were the two things that i really loved in this like you know in this movie special and they like like i was waiting for this like i i like this these scenes were so memorable that i remember these scenes from the novel and i was waiting to see the animation the animated version and i saw this like i like my wish is fulfilled i am really happy like you know like they were able to like do this so well and like was able to adapt and animate this so well and i'm really glad they took that time <clears throat> broke the novel down into three you know parts even though they broke it into three parts that is like 6 hours worth of content you know the visual novel was like 50 plus hours of reading content so i'm sure there is a lot of things that they have skipped i cannot remember the details of the novel so i cannot tell which part portions they skipped but they did a solid like you know adaptation and i'm really glad about this like you know like this is amazing and yeah and also uh, like now let me just talk about another thing in this um where was that portion mm Oh yeah, in, in the beginning, you know, in the beginning when, um, like, uh, you know what? One thing, uh, that like, Ryder or Medusa, she says, she says that, you know, like Sakura did not have any kind of relic for me, but I was summoned, and there's a reason for that. Um, now, if you guys have like seen Babylonia, you guys will understand a little bit of it. but this like this the reason lies mainly behind like you know mainly because like of uh, medusa's lore that is her original ro- lore like uh, like not original lore the her fate lore the fa- fate version of lore as far as i can remember medusa uh, steno and uriel these were the, like the three gorgon sisters and like medusa was this kind of uh, like you know like they were like as, i cannot remember properly but they were exiled in an island you know and steno and urel like like medusa was exiled in an island and steno and urel like even though they like you know they were not exiled they went with medusa there just like because you know because she was their sister and like they used to live there but because of the different like heroes coming to slay medusa like you know medusa lost control and became like the gorgon like the gorgon that we see from like babylonia and she devours her two sisters like she becomes a monster so that is the the reason why like the similarity between medusa and sakura like how like you know like she kind of like when she comes and uh, outside shiro's bedroom and says that um, yeah she says that like uh, like i've come to kill you and uh, when shiro says that oh, sorry about that 
um and she says that like um <clears throat> Okay, I'm getting a bit, a bit distracted because of the outside loss. All right, um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, so uh, like uh, Medusa says that uh, I've come here to kill you, and Shiro says that don't you have you don't have to worry. Um, <coughs> I'll save Sakura, and like Medusa also asks that will you be able to save her because like uh, like she's become a monster. This thing, this whole like transformation into a monster and like you know devouring the things that she loved that's what basically sakura is doing you know she became this monster and was devouring everything that she loved uh, like you know rin and then like shiro as well that she was trying to devour them and kill them so that's what basically happened with medusa gorgon you know like she killed her like um, steno and urel uh, and she transformed into this like you know monster and that is the reason why she says that we are similar like i and sakura and that's also the reason why like medusa is so sympathetic towards sakura because i'm sure like looking at sakura she gets reminded her of herself and that's the main reason why like she's so loyal to sakura and she's so like sympathetic towards her and she wants the best for her that's the main reason and <clears throat> yeah like like I like you know like uh, people who are seeing this for the first time I'm sure a lot of things will confuse you guys like you know like if like heaven's feel was like the first uh, fate related work that you have seen or like you know you only have watched unlimited blade works and then like oh, heaven's feel a lot of things will confuse you uh, like fate is confusing as hell like there are still a few things that I even don't understand even though I'm a big fan of fate I've, and I've seen most of the things fate related you know and uh like there's a huge lore behind fate like it's a lot of things like immense like you know like if you go to the fate uh, like you know the fate type moon um wiki like you know wiki like fandom page you see like there's so many things like you know the whole like counter guardian system the whole greater gale, grail lesser gale the like forces of nature uh, i think they're called yeah like the beasts what are those like so many things so like you know like it's a bit difficult to get everything but if you like keep like you know investing your time in this like franchise uh, it's really something that you'll come to like and adore because that's what happened to me like in the beginning i was like the only the, the person who like only played the novel and then uh, like you know i saw like the an animes and saw like uh, fate zero uh, and everything and then like carnival phantasm i played sukihime i played like i, I uh, like you know mm. yeah sukihime i played like Hotto, hollow ataraxia from fate and you know the other like kind of like i saw like uh, prisma Elia, that one as well like most of the fate related stuff i've kind of seen uh, fate extra and all so and then like came in fate grand grand order i played fate grand order a lot of things are explained there as well so like all of these things like you know like all together like they kind of explain a story so like i can kind of say that i understand most of the things now fate related but like newcomers will really get confused at this and that's why i think a lot of people usually like you know even if they like see the anime like because they don't understand it they kind of drop it but if you keep investing your time in this i'm sure like this like a lot of people, you people will like and that's why like there you know there's like so many videos on youtube saying that uh, like why fate is so confusing like you know how you should watch the anime and everything like like so confusion i think the gear also made a video like you know the related to fate why is fate so like you know where should you start fate you know like so confusing and all like yeah when i started fate it was the same thing it, 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 like, it like blew my mind like how complicated this whole storyline is but yeah like it's such an amazing uh, franchise i love it and yeah and okay uh okay i'm going on a tangent uh so for this movie uh, as i was saying mm, <clears throat> so so like yeah like uh, most of the things i kind of explained here like what the actual like you know what was the grail the greater grail uh, the lesser grail and <clears throat> the greater grail was uh, like you know the, like the like the magic circle the the thing that tosaka's had and like you know um, another thing i kind of forgot i really did not remember the thing that when sakura explained that you know um 
how like Kide died. <coughs> Yeah, like uh, here, here it is. She says here, like when um, Hassan, that is assassin, she like he uses Zabanya and tries to get her his heart. He's unable to do that because you know he doesn't have a heart. Now at that moment, I was a little bit confused. I was thinking, what the hell is this? Like I, I kind of forgot about this portion, I think. And then like Sakura explains, like uh, remember from Phase Zero, you know, like. Uh, like if you have watched Phase Zero, you can understand what she's talking about. She says that the contents of the Grail try to corrupt Gilgamesh, you know, but because he cannot be corrupted, it flowed into the master that is Kirei. Uh, this is uh, like I'm talking. This is the thing that happened in Phase Zero, you know, the, in, the, in the end of it, when like uh, like you know, Kiritsugu destroys the Grail and the mud of the Grail kind of flows out, and uh, that's what he's like, you know, she's saying. So that's what kept Kirei like alive. I did not, I think I forgot about this thing. And when they suddenly said that, I was a little bit like, you know, surprised. But okay, like I kind of like remember it now. And that's what happened actually. And um, yeah, and another thing that is like, you know, uh, I did not remember is that whole ceremony where like we see Eisenberg, Makiri, and um tosaka them like you know kind of coming and like i'll have to check that part again later on like there's like a lot of information given I, i've forgotten most of the information as to what their actual goal is you know like why are they like doing this whole like uh like you know this fight to the death thing like what is their main objective why do they want the grave so i'll have to check that portion out again later on because as I said, like fate is still like confusing to me, little uh, like li like small portions, like you know, small particular portions. Uh, this thing kind of confuses me. This whole like you know the actual thing that they want. What is the actual goal? And as far as I could understand from this, um, like they like in a nutshell, they wanted to become an entity who is kind of immortal, who is kind of out of the world. You know they wanted to become that entity so that <coughs> you know uh like so that was the main thing so that was why they were like you know like the eisenbergs made the uh like hormone classes like, which were like the vessel of the grail and uh like they like what like what is the normal holy grail war the normal holy grail war is like you summon seven servants the holy grail is there and you know like they fight to death and like six servants die one servant and one master is left and like you know they ask for a wish and the grail grants it as far as i know that's like the main like normal holy grail like you know uh war but like you know like they as far as i can remember they um this is still a little bit complicated i cannot like, properly remember like their main objective is like they do not keep one master and one servant alive they they kill all the servants you know and i think that's kind of corrupted the grail in a way and that's why like i think like they kind of also explain the whole angra mayu situation you know the avenger that is that is the uh seventh uh one, two three four five six uh six seven yeah the seventh or the eighth class because uh three three six seven yeah there are seven classes you know and there's a ruler class which is kind of different and avenger class and there are a lot of other classes as well those are like in fate grand order but you know like these are like only like related to the fate franchise the fate stay night franchise uh so eight no uh three three six seven eight nine 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 classes you know saber archer lancer uh those are like the three knight classes and then like um assassin caster writer uh, and um then comes the berserker then comes the ruler and then comes the venture nine classes so like yeah like as they like explain the whole angra mayu thing this angra mayu is kind of explained in a lot more detail in hollow ataraxia like you know hollow in hollow hollow ataraxia this angra mayu who is this thing and what is like it is explained a lot more in detail and uh like angamayu is like the as they said the 
the source of all evil like they took a scapegoat and pinned on the blame all the blame on her him like it was a weird thing you know like they like picked a person they picked a person and decided like f like all the bad things that are happening in the world are because of him and decided to like make him as a scapegoat so all the evil thing they were concentrated on him and at the same time they, they hated him and worshipped him at the same time because if they did not worship him you no know, like he would not become that like thing that uh, has like you know contains all the evil of the world so it's like a weird thing that happened and this angra mayu like he like he became an avenger and like you know like that avenger uh, i cannot remember properly what was actually explained in fate, fate hall or ataraxia but it was something like that and uh, it was explained in this movie as well and uh, it's kind of confusing you know but like basically that avenger is the thing that like kirei you know like kirei wants and zoken also wanted that and zoken wanted uh, like you know to be like the but it's like zoken failed in the end but like in the end like what kirei explains is like the fist fight that happens kirei says that like we still don't know if that avenger will be evil you know because it's not born like you cannot say that oh this will be evil if they're not even born so like kirei wants to <laughs> wait and see you know like how he grows up to be and shiro says but no like what are you even saying like she like kirei says a lot of things he says that like people are not born evil like which i also always say that people all are not born evil the circumstances the environment kind of make them what they are so like you cannot say that like, you know this avenger this angra mayu is like an evil entity because it's not born you know we still didn't, don't know what will happen to him and like shiro says but no like it is an evil thing so like you cannot expect to it to become good like you are saying that like there is a chance of a person becoming a good person or an evil person you want to see that but this thing is evil from the beginning so what are you even waiting for and <laughs> kire then says another thing kire says that like like i know i know that uh, it will probably kill a lot of people kill everyone and there will a time will come when he will be alone and at that moment i want to see what he feels you know will he feel the despair or will he keep being evil like that's what i want to see like that was kire's like <laughs> like main objective like weird objective but basically he wanted to be the audience of like you know of a particular individual he wanted to see what happens to him and as i said like kirei is like a wandering specter like he does not know what will make him happy so he keeps wandering around until he gets something that would fulfill him and he probably thought that this will be something that would fulfill him you know and he wanted to see this but unfortunately like you know shiro wins in the end and like you know and by the end of it like uh, like ilia sacrifices herself to save shiro and that was like you know sad like the whole like ilia like wearing the he like I think it's called the heaven's dress as far as i can remember and you know saving shiro and she says that like you know like i'm the bigger sister here you know i'm the older sibling so it's my job to protect you <sighs> i always feel bad every time i see watch those death scene you know the whole ilia sacrificing himself, herself but she never gets that happy ending that she wanted in the like you know in the fate stay route uh, in the in the different like uh, parallel universes and all like you know in like kaled in liner prisma ilia She's kind of happy, but that's like a completely parallel universe. Like you know, that's a different story. But still, like you know, it's better than nothing. At least you can see her happy in those, like, you know, in those universes. And yeah, okay. One thing that I want to check out again. I kind of like missed this portion when like Zoken dies for the, like in the end when he like falls into that whole thing excuse me um he kind of like excuse me here's a voice um here it is allow me to ask you 
my mortal enemy what made you think you didn't want to die and he kind of sees like you know uh, the eisenberg homunculus that we saw in the ritual that was happening and then um okay here it is in order to eliminate them you sought for a miracle okay we see the three like tosaka makiri and eisenberg there uh, there's no salvation in the human world and if we can't cut evil out as long as we're human if utopia is in a location where humans cannot ever reach we seek something that surpasses humans a new shape of humanity correct in order to exclude all evil of this world we shall risk our lives for this wish yeah so that was basically it like as i said like they wanted to become something out of the world there is some kind of an immortal like you know abstract concept like it's like it's a weird like thing like fate has this thing which is kind of like uh, difficult to understand the whole like you know the what the mages want to like you know uh, what their main goal is to reach the root or i think they called it alaya or something like that i cannot remember like it's a vague and abstract concept which is pretty difficult to understand but that's basically it like they kind of explained it here like they want to become that one entity which is abstract and like out of this world so that like you know if like utopia is there they want to like you know reach it and i like, want to exclude all the evils of humanity and yeah <clears throat> and yeah that was one thing that uh it is quite like difficult to understand like you know this whole thing with what the actual goal for the mages are like this whole route like you know reaching the root thing the you know the uh like the alaya and the the uh, all, all those kind of things it's a bit weird but you know like it's it's kind of because it's kind of difficult because it's an abstract concept that they're talking about so it's a bit difficult to understand but yeah and <clears throat> okay one thing i'm again checking out is where like where do they like i cannot find that portion again i i need to check that portion again the uh like the uh you know the place where they uh talk about avenger just a sec where is that portion like where do like you know like i need to check that portion again the whole avenger thing i'm still a little bit okay here it is mm. Oh yeah, yeah, Ilya explains this portion. Okay, I can remember the whole like Angra Mayu thing, like you know the uh, like the scapegoat thing. I can I don't I know that, but after that is what I am quite interested in. I, I cannot like properly still understand that. I'll I'll check that portion again. Okay, um Oh yeah okay so okay i remember it now like this is a bit difficult so i, I again forgot okay in the third war the eisenberg summon, uh, summoned angra mayu as a servant okay this i can kind of remember this was also said like uh, like explained in hollow ataraxia the whole thing with angra mayu uh, like angra mayu is extremely weak you know like, even though he is like the thing with like all evil of the world he's extremely weak like in fate grand order like he's like a zero star servant okay like however he was very weak um he was uh defeated early angra mayu was then incorpor incorporated into the holy gate okay yeah i remember okay 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 let me just check this portion again um that was when the holy grail accepted a certain wish all right it was in the third th third grail world okay an existence created by people who wished it to be just evil um that finally became reality within the holy grail 
an existence that embodies all evil in the world and can curse all six billion humans. That is the true guise of the shadow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, in the last part, Kisu could destroy the Holy Grail and because of Kisu's uh, action, Angnamayu was not born and was left behind within the greater okay okay so yeah i kind of remembered what i was trying to say I, I was kind of confused at this okay um like you know like the servants are summoned and all the servants like are killed and they get incorporated in the grail again you know and so when when they summoned angre mayu you know the being with which consists of all the evil in the world he was weak and so he died and that also got incorporated in the grail which corrupted the grail so, you know, before this, the Grail was okay, but after the corruption of the Grail, we also see this thing in, like, you know, in Fate Zero as well, when, like, we see, like, Iris feel in, inside the Grail, and there's, like, this kind of a weird entity in there, like, the black mud that we see, that's the corruption, that's Angra Mayu's, like, you know, <coughs> the black mud of the Grail, like, that corrupted the Grail, and, like uh, you know so that was like left behind in that grave kitsugu destroyed the grave and so that's why like as like Ilya says that the angramayu was not born so but the remaining contents of angramayu was still left in the greater grave which like zoken and like you know kide is like trying to kind of like get back they have their own goals for it but you know like they're trying to was trying to get it back and it kind of like took sakura as a master or a vessel like you know in the end when shiro says that like uh like uses casters um uh what was that called um that um that that knife uh what was the name of that i forgot um oh, god damn it there's so many things rule breaker rule breaker okay yeah rule breaker in the name of the noble phantasm of um media that is caster now uh, if you guys don't know uh caster's np or media's np it's it's rule breaker it's used to like you know sever any connection of the master and the servant like it's like a very op thing you know and like so shiro uses that to sever the ties of sakura and that like you know that like angra mayu that avenger entity that's how he was able to save sakura but even though he saved sakura like angra mai was still there so that like Siro was trying to sacrifice himself to stop like you know angra mai like he was trying to project some like weapon to destroy it but if he projected some weapon he would have died so that's why like Ilya comes in and she kind of sacrifices herself to save shiro and even though shiro's whole body gets disintegrated um <coughs> uh, just a sec Aoko. Aoko or what was her name? Aoko or Toko? Toko. Toko Aozaki. Okay, yeah, 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 I remember. Um so yeah, uh Toko. Toko was her name. I, I was saying Aoko Aoko. Okay. Toko. So that was Toko. Toko is another as I said, like a, a character from Karno Kyoka and Mahatsuka no Yoru. She is like a master doll master, like you know, doll maker. So by the end of it, even though Shiro's complete body was destroyed, uh, I'm sure like she patched him up and like most of the like, you know, Shiro's body is like kind of a prosthetic and doll kind of a thing. They did not kind of uh, like, you know, uh, mention it properly in the end of the movie, but it was like implied in the novel and in the movie it was kind of, uh, kind of like, you know, uh, like left to our like, you know, they kind of showed us the doll, but did not properly explain what happened to Shiro. That's what basically happened. Shiro is basically like his most of his body is like a doll now, but his main like you know main like you know he himself is still there. So yeah, that was basically what happened in the end. And yeah, that was it. Like I can talk a lot about this movie. Like it will like the movie like you know the video is getting too long. I should probably stop here because I can like I talk a, about a lot of things in this the whole thing with you know archer like you know when like you know shiro opens that thing and he sees like archer's memories and all and when he projects that like you know uh, weapon of berserker's weapon he also sees berserker's memory and everything and 
like you know and and, and, and a lot of things as well like i can talk about this for like hours and like i won't like run out of things to talk about in fate but i should probably stop now you know because this is getting too long and I'll, it'll take a lot of time rendering and uploading so yeah and another thing that i, that I should mention is like the end as i said like i was like in the while playing the novel i was really concerned i thought that shiro died or something but thankfully like you know like he came back and fate like uh, by the end of it fate gets a happy ending in each of the routes i'm really like uh, i think rin's route that is unlimited blade works has the most happiest ending you know and sakura's route is also happy kind of in the end and uh sable's route is quite sad but you know not sad as per se but like seven never gets to be with shiro but in the end when they die they like kind of reunite in avalon like that was the thing and yeah so that was it that was this uh movie the final movie of uh fate heaven's feel so yeah guys if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll definitely be checking them out and if you guys are interested in more fates like you know fate uh you know related stuff i usually put out one fate grand order video every week um i love talking about fate fate is like one of my most favorite franchises and i just love talking about it and discussing about it so like if you are interested you can uh, like check those out you know and yeah so anyways this is the end of this movie um i still have like i i, I like one fate related movie that i wanted to watch that is prisma ilia's movie that movie that uh uh the last movie that came out i cannot remember um i've not watched that but like my problem is i could have done that in the next week but my problem is i forgot most of the things about prisma ilia and i need to like you know kind of refresh my memory and kind of rewatch it so after rewatching it i'll watch that movie so like you know like it will come in the future that prisma ilia movie i'll react to that in the future because i've not watched that and i've kind of forgotten most of the things about prisma ilia so i i, I will rewatch that first in my spare time and then i'll react to the movie so next week um, oh also another thing next week i still don't know like if uh, the demon slayer movie comes out within the next week i'll react to the demon slayer movie next week if it's still not out i'll react to um uh i want to eat your pancreas because i've also not watched that movie and i want to check that out because uh like you know it has been on my list for a long time i've never got the time to check it out so like you know <clears throat> the demon slay movie comes out well like you know uh within the next week i'll react to that if it's not out i'll react to um uh, i want to eat your pancreas next week so yeah guys thank you guys for watching again i'll see you guys next week with another movie reaction so until then goodbye and have a nice day